Hello my lovelies, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I am aware I said that I would be more consistent <laughs> with posting. Obviously that's not really happened, um, but I'll be honest, I've actually found post comp really tough for the first time. Like I spoke about it a lot after my very, very first competition, more so in terms of like self-worth and feeling a bit lost after having a competition like not having that next thing to aim for and being a bit like now what do i do that very much hasn't been the case for probably the first time actually past um post this competition even though i've got my biggest competition yet to date coming up um what i've actually found really tough is i've just not enjoyed sessions like at all obviously post comp a nationals we're pushing hard b we've got six months which is probably the longest gap intentionally that we've taken between competitions um and i've just really struggled like you know those days so post competition i've been really pushing with like work i've been trying to make memories and like just enjoy life a little bit more because everyone will know when you're in prep that kind of takes a bit of a backseat naturally um but you know those days where you just want to go to the gym and have a good session I've just like not been able to have them because the sessions have been so tough like we are hammering volume we've done a lot of like technique work and it's just been so fatiguing that i get to the gym i'm dreading it a little bit i will still get it done um and just bite the bullet and do it but i have really struggled with just not getting there and having the session that i needed for my head if that makes sense so it's felt for the first time a lot like a chore um and that's for like a multitude of different reasons obviously as well if anyone follows me on instagram um i have started my very first bulk so if you've been keeping up with my comp prep series uh like the last few you'll know that i continually am weighing in quite light so the very last competition that i did i was 65.4 the one before that i was 65.7 um i've also done a lot of growing between then um which obviously signals we have a lot of room to push into my weight class so for anyone that is watching this for the first time or needs a little refresher i personally compete as an under 69 kilo lifter so weighing in at like 65 i'm weighing in very light for my weight class so basically we have planned to do my first intentional bulk which has been really scary so you can imagine balls deep in a really tough volume block a lot of technical focuses and bulking and feeling uncomfortable in your own skin not enjoying sessions makes for a pretty shitty <laughs> mentality so to be honest like the last five weeks of training i have just had to get my head down and like let everything settle and i wanted to make sure that my comeback to youtube i was mentally in the best place because otherwise this just becomes a slog and it's not fun to watch and i just feel like i'm moaning to the camera so i kind of just needed that time to be honest with you but the reason i am back is because i am bulking so if anyone follows me on instagram you'll know that i have been starting this mini series called the bulk diaries just walking through my personal experience with uh bulking for the very first time and it's been intimidating but that's very much why i wanted to embrace it and kind of walk you guys through what i'm kind of actively avoiding is more like what i eat in a days and things like that because there are very mixed reviews and i just don't think that it's personally the most informative or educational content speaking obviously as a coach myself i've coached a lot of girls through maintenance bulking and everything around that and it can feel really overwhelming and intimidating so for me i just wanted to focus more on like how that's impacting me mentally and how i'm actually navigating it there will obviously be some educational elements how to actually bulk uh, the best ways to go around it and i'm still going to have a little bit of a focus on nutrition of course because it, it's literally the core of it um but i had some requests to turn it into more of a long form youtube series so that's what we're doing so um this is episode one of my youtube version of the bulk diaries so what i'm going to do is just take you along with me today to be honest with you um i've got my very first session of the new training block so it's my primary squat day uh we're keeping up with tempo bench and a lot of volume hard accessories uh, and then we are going to the beach and that's actually why i chose to start vlogging today because it's the start of a new block and for the first time i'm bulking and going to the beach so i don't know if anyone's ever experienced well I'd, of course you've experienced this if you are a woman that's ever worn a bikini i am sure you've had the experience of being self-conscious in some form now i'm actually going on holiday in august and 
bulking this close to a holiday makes me fucking terrified and i can hand on heart say that as someone who's been training for the last five years as someone who is a strength and empowerment coach for women i see this week in week out and help them navigate this a lot and it's an experience that so many of us share and i can hand on heart say that it makes me scared like i don't feel comfortable thinking about bulking and being in a bikini but i'm filming this because do you know what i'm going to embrace it like the last week i have really lent into this bulk and i've kind of just gone like what is it that's making me feel self-conscious is it the perceptions of others yes in which case flip the switch and think about in the last like six months a year do i remember a single person that i didn't know on the beach no because it didn't stick with you do i remember looking at the body and thinking anything other than probably oh that's a nice bikini do you know what i mean like these are just passing thoughts so i've really tried to put myself in other people's position and go does anyone actually give a fuck no in which case this is my problem what is it that's making me uncomfortable if it genuinely is the thought of others and i've gone through that thought pattern i've got nothing to worry about and for me what is it that i'm concerned about is it the fact that i don't have visible abs is it the fact that i'm not as lean as i was when i was literally at my most unhealthy yes well I'm not trying to have visible abs, I'm quite literally trying to achieve the opposite. And what do you want out of this? I want to be strong. Right, well that's going to involve eating and not being, having 10% body fat. So buck it up and let's get on with it. To be honest, it's kind of the conversation that I've had. So I am going to take this little bulk body to the beach. We're going to make some mems, soak up some sun. I've booked up a couple of hours of work and we're just going to go for a few hours. Uh, and then I'm just going to crack on with work in the evening. But I wanted to take you with me because this has been a real revelation for me. This is probably the most uncomfortable I've ever been in my own body intentionally. And it's it's been a very muddily place in my head. I'm really trying to embrace it. So I wanted to take you guys along for the first episode of the box series, training, beach, let's embrace it. So... The workout usually after a fresh tan slaps, but it's currently eight o'clock in the morning and I'm guessing that's probably not going to be the case today, but we're going to go for it anyway. So obviously start of the new block. This is going to be the last warm up. So we're aiming for, um, a, what are we doing? My brain simply doesn't function before 9am. Um, we've got a top double at an RP, I think 5.5 target. So this is 102. Let's test the horses and see how we're actually feeling top end today. Um, now, squats have been going unbelievably well. Like the baseline, especially close comp, has been the highest it's ever been. So we're basically just starting to push squats a little bit. Deadlifts and I have not been friends, but I'm not going to include that today because... Um, so yes, last warm-up at 102. Looking for this to move at about a five. Nice. All right, 110. It is. All right, top set. If I'm not going to lie, I've now got a really quite gross <laughs> end to Scott's on the program. So I've got a one by six at an RP six and then I've got two by seven at an RP five. So basically doing like top set, like a heavy pushed back off set and then lighter volume work, which is new. Bit grim, but we'll, we'll figure out how it works, I suppose. So that was one ten. I'm going to drop down to uh, 95 for the one by six. Um, and just see how that moves, I suppose. Cardio, man. Cool. Alright, now I'm what? 2 by 7 out of 5, so 90? Alright, let's do it.
Scots are done, on to bench. So I, <laughs> for as long as I can remember, basically the start of, if not before, but the start of prep for last competition up until the end of the last block, I have had a 4-2-0 tempo single, literally just capped basically in RP6 the entire time, um, just to focus on position, control, and not worry about load. Oh my God, the backs of my legs are sweating if I'm kneeling like that. Anyway, that has now come to a same tempo, so still 4-2-0, but a double now. <laughs> And the RP has dropped right down to a five. So the intent is basically to be able to push the primary day even more um, and strip this back a little bit, but still tick all the boxes that we were before. So this is going to be interesting. So I've got literally no idea where it's going to go. And then I've got three by seven back offs. And it's fucking hot. So, okay, yeah, my, my mics have done it. So I'm kind of hoping you can hear me. But um, yeah, obviously it's been badly team shirt season because I'm bold. Um, but I, for bench, I simply, I cannot bench in a t-shirt because it's a slip and slide. So I've got strip and I have to say, my body image is definitely a lot better since settling into the bulk. Like all my habits are in place, like mentally I'm feeling like I know what I'm doing and I can handle it. And the tan helps today, I will say that. So it's probably one of my better body image days, but it's still a bit rocky. But <laughs> in the spirit of embracing this series, um, we're just going to do it anyway. So a little reminder that I promise you, Literally, no one gives a fuck. No one gives a fuck. Unless there's, you know, the occasional weird person in a gym that decides to make us feel uncomfortable. No one cares. I have never judged a single person from walking into the gym. I do not remember the randomer that I saw a week ago, nor what their buddy looked like, nor what my thoughts and feelings were if I had any towards them. So a little reminder, it's fucking hot in the gym at the moment. Wear what you are comfortable in. Wear whatever you want. Because I promise, if your fear is judgment of other people, there isn't much and if there is you're probably not going to know about it so just do it anyway just do it anyway i've got a thick tan all over my new white bra Today. So, um, I said this on my Instagram story yesterday, but I'm um, sorry, I'm trying to not be <laughs> too loud, but I don't have my mic with me, which is a bit of a silly move. But, um, yeah, I spoke about this on my Instagram story yesterday, but we're actually going on holiday in August, and the thought of bulking like that close to a holiday makes me quite anxious, but um, I've, I've really tried to work on my mindset, to be honest, over the last like first month of doing it, and it's it's been somewhat challenging and even I find like summer still quite intimidating just in terms of body image and stuff so we're actually taking a half day today um we have the luxury of living very near to one of the best beaches in uh, England 
So we're taking our half day because it's what, 26, 27 degrees today. And I was like, well, A, working in that heat is abhorrent. Um, but because we live so near, um, we decided to make a beach day of it. So I currently, in my bulk bod, in a bikini on the beach. And I have to say, I actually don't, I don't give a fuck for once. Um, I'm about to tuck into some burgers. And I know, all right, anyone that's that's suffered with body image before will probably relate to the, the fact that five years ago, even, um, the thought of eating carbs on the beach would have terrified the fuck out of me. And I'm about to tuck into two bagels with burgers in them. And I'm very excited. So, um, big shift, which is very nice. It's beautiful. Say hi. Hey you guys. That's just lettuce. Trying to get the other mm. mm. That's the only thing about my steps and piercing. Whenever I take a bite into stuff like this, it just gets stuck. <laughs> it's actually kind of gross. I'm going to get tucked up around my mouth. <laughs> Gosh. Gosh. Went through with the lake. And he carried oh, on. Oh no! <laughs> Caught in 4K. It's, it's hot. So I got myself some, um, I got myself some treats. This is probably just like, necessities at this point but um i didn't have a fan when i moved in so i bought myself one of those and um i have a balcony but there's obviously nothing on it annoyingly the doors open like outwards so i can't really have anything here so i actually bought myself a little inflatable lounge chair with a footstool um so i can sit and do work out here but then i can actually deflate it so that it doesn't like get in the way of anything yeah i'm gonna test that out later i've still got um checking calls to do. I didn't actually take the measurement, so I'm slightly concerned that it's going to be too wide. I fucked up. You do in fact need a pump, and it is in fact too wide. <laughs> I'm blowing up the footstool because it's the only thing that will fit and that I can actually get to inflate, so I'm going to have to go and buy, I'm going to have to go and buy a pump. I'm a silly goose, that's really annoyed me. This is such a thin balcony. This is actually probably the perfect width. <laughs> You'd probably do it if you to... open the door open. Maybe. Updates. I've just been to Tesco and I managed to find a foot pump. There is still an issue. It is, it is very large. As in, fills both doors being open large but he can't get it on the balcony i think i'm literally just gonna have to do it like this just like half in half out pop the footstool up there and it's like, unless i literally just twist it all the way around it's a nightmare and i'm worried about popping it but um <laughs> we've made it work so at the very least i have some furniture literally usually i've got two bean bags that are quite big so usually i just wedge them in there and i probably didn't need to spend my money on this but it came with the footstool and i thought it was going to be a lot smaller than this to be fair as well, this is always something that I can take to the beach. So, there's an idea. So anyway, thanks for coming along with me today. And um, I'm hoping that was a nice little entry into the bulk diary. She's given you a bit of an overview of like what the fuck's going on and <laughs> a catch up as to where I've been. Um, so yeah, the plan is basically another four to six weeks of bulking. So I'm hoping to do a few more vlogs in that time. Just take you guys with me. Um, Next time I'm planning to do a bit more insight as to the actual like nutrition side of things, um, what I'm having, what changes, uh, see if I can provide some help in that respect as well. Um, and then basically it will be the countdown to nationals. So my plan is the Bulk Diaries series to take you to the end of my bulk. Uh, I'm then gonna be away on holiday for a little bit. I might do some vlogs there, I don't know. Uh, and then it'll be the road to nationals and bulking again. So I will take you with me from that point onwards. Um, I really hope that this will a nice needed catch up with a sprinkle of drama as always um and i will see you next time as always make sure to like subscribe and comment if there's anything else that you would like to see um and i'll see you soon guys mm -hmm.